Hello everyone! Happy National Reading Month! One of the best ways to celebrate this occasion is by sharing great stories that you have read to your friends. Today, I shall tell you a wonderful story about cooperation and hope. You will be asked a question at the end of the story, so relax, be attentive, and enjoy. The Parable of the Rainbow Colors by Juan M. Flavier it all started as innocent statements by each of the callers. No attempt was made by anyone to denigrate the others. There was even an element of restraint and humility. But as time went on, the callers' declaration became stronger and haughty. They even used an overtone voice to put down the other callers. It reached the point when the callers were actually quarreling said the caller red. I am the brightest, for red is the most striking. Why? Life's sustaining blood is color red. I represent courage and bravery. Even love symbols, such as heart and roses, are color red. The color yellow retorted. What can be brighter than my yellow exemplified by the sun? I am the color of gaiety and warmth. Without me, only the eye-glaring ones remain. The color orange interposed. What outlandish claims! Sunrise is orange, not yellow. I am the most important because I represent health and strength. Look at the ripened fruits and vegetables. They are predominantly orange. Well, if you are talking about vegetables and leaves, you are referring to my color. Declare the color green. I am the symbol of life. All that thrives in the fields and forests is the greenery I provide. The color blue could not help it anymore, so it shouted. What can be more expansive than the sky and seas? Do you forget the farthest sky and the deepest sea are blue? I represent patriotism. I stand for the depth of feelings. And extensive spaces. The color indigo came out with a statement. Mm-hmm. You talk about wide areas. I hope you realize that the largest area in the world is silence. And I represent the dimension with my color. It means thoughtfulness. It is prayer. Express in the deepest feelings. The color violet then shouted. Aha! You forget the pomp of royalty and power is violet. I am wisdom and authority. What can be more overwhelming? Suddenly, the rain interrupted the contentious exchange of arguments. You are probably all wrong and all right. Yes, you all have unique features, but all of you have a special role. And more importantly, you need each other to give the mixed colors of beauty. From now on, you will not be seen separately. When it rains, a strip of color will appear in the sky, and you will appear together. You will be called a rainbow. You will represent cooperation and hope. With that, the rain disappeared. Now that you have viewed the story, you are ready to answer the key question for today. Based on the story, what is the meaning of the rainbow? What does it symbolize? Please state your answer on the comment section. 